One of the most important uh, contributions is that he developed in the early 2000s the basis by which almost all global weather models operate now, which is the utilization of thousands of PCs running together. And when you think about it, that's something that we all see the benefits from every day. Society needs these things. Um, they need more accurate predictions. And the reason, you know, is very clear when we see these billion dollar disasters that are hitting us all over the world. It's not just the U.S., but everywhere else it's being hit by this. So we have to have more accurate forecasts. And it just really bothered him that he and his field had not yet done enough to make sure that people could not be better prepared for a big disaster. So he, he worked on those things. And in the meantime, Sandy kept working with his colleagues in Washington, D.C. to explain his vision of massively parallel computers. My dad was the third of six. He grew up in Glendive in the 1950s and 60s, which from all accounts from him and his brothers and sisters was a pretty great time to be in Glendive, Montana. My dad sounds like he had a great time growing up, played on the football team at Dawson County High School, and then uh, went off to Montana State. He met my mom at Bozeman, so I like to think of that as being a pretty important moment in his trajectory. Sandy was interested in weather from the time we were nine or 10, and I remember him saving his money partly to buy a bike, but also to buy a barometer, which astonished me then and still surprises me. I guess it shouldn't. I think it influenced the scientist and weatherman that he became, and that led him to Montana State University, and I think that's led to the career he has now. He wanted to be able to access all the different NOAA data sources in one platform. We engineered a way that we could access those remote data sets and give people in the field the same capability they would have in that forecast office. And then eventually the workstation became even more powerful. They were able to issue warnings, work with the data, help communicate out the uh, impacts of the weather as it evolved. His work, it helped change and modernize the entire weather prediction system for the U.S. and for the world. It helped him do things like invent Science on a Sphere. Science on a Sphere is amazing. We remember him developing it in our garage with a big beach ball. Uh, you'll see it in almost any natural science museum throughout the world. You see the data the way it was meant to be around the sphere. So no longer on the flat screen, it's wrapped around. You can see the interactions across the poles. You can see the interactions across the sides. Just because you happen to live in the United States doesn't mean you're not affected by weather that comes from somewhere else. So Science on a Sphere is a great way to communicate, especially to educate the general public about weather and climate. I think this is actually the most important part of my dad. He is a true believer in knowledge is wealth. You learn something and you share it. The work he has done has saved lives, it has changed lives, and it may change the future.